Now, 2 News Oklahoma weather. Well, fortunately, we aren't dealing with that type of winter weather, but we might get some more rain later today, right? We will. We're going to be dealing with that drizzle, some patchy drizzle for the most part for the remainder of today as we are tracking that next storm system that is going to be pushing in from the west out towards the east into our area. That's going to keep temperatures for the most part in those low 50s. Those overcast conditions are going to continue. No hope for seeing any peaks of sunshine for today. That is really going to come in for tomorrow afternoon. So then we'll see an increase in some storms late this evening. So in terms of severe weather, we do have that slight risk now issued for out towards the west. So now that has now included portions of Oklahoma City and in Norman. That large hail is really going to be the main threat here. And this is for late in the evening into the late Monday night. And then as we go into early hours on Tuesday morning, that has now shifted. So now we have areas like McAllister, Seminole, Poto now included in also that slight risk. And again, large hail is going to be the main threat here. Tornado low, tornado threat is low but of course not zero. So we'll keep an eye out on that. And in terms of tracking this out, as we go throughout the next few hours, this is just showing just some light patchy drizzle continuing all throughout today. Overcast conditions continuing as well with breezy southeast winds. Here comes that line of storms pushing in around three o'clock. So this is early hours in the morning. Again, another overnight um, look. And as we continue to push further towards the next few hours, this pretty much enters uh, Tulsa early hours on Tuesday. That's really going to continue on even until one o'clock is when we finally start to see some breaks in the clouds or we could see some sunshine for Tuesday and that's going to help those temperatures. We could even reach the 60s, but we're really hoping uh, this moves out quickly. And of course, we'll keep you posted here within the next few hours if any updates occur. But for the most part right now, we're looking at the overcast conditions, just that patchy drizzle continuing on really can't see much on some of our tower camps, but for the most part, Shangri-La Resort at Grand Lake. This is all part of Wade's RV weather camera network. We're just going to keep the overcast gloomy conditions right now. We're at 53 degrees here in Tulsa. We're looking at southeast winds 13 miles per hour for the most part across green country. We do have a few uh, gusts around 19 mile per hour wind gust in Pawnee right now at 19 uh, miles per hour, but Another story is this blast of cold air. At least the next six to 10 days, we're looking at below normal temperatures. And as we move into the next eight to 14 days, we do have uh, this also includes Christmas. We're still below normal. So once this cold air moves in Tuesday, for the most part, uh, that cold front will arrive late Tuesday into Wednesday. Those temperatures will wake up Wednesday in the mid to low 30s. Highs only going to stay in the 40s and that cold air isn't going to go anywhere. It's actually going to stick around here within the next 10 days, even on into your extended outlook. We'll have more just after this.